Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Have you ever heard of the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator? Do you know what the INFJ personality type is? INFJ is the rarest of the Myers-Briggs personalities and stands for introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. Amongst their other features, INFJs are mostly known for their introverted behavior and their idealistic approach towards life. And while these rare behavioral traits can make them very valuable for society, like everyone else, it can also put them at a disadvantage, especially for their romantic life. So here are seven reasons why, as an INFJ, you may still be single. Number one, you won't settle for anyone other than your dream person. Would you end your relationship with your partner because they're not the person you've envisioned? As an INFJ, you're always striving to find someone who can connect with you mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually to a very intimate degree. You're always looking for someone who truly understands you and who can share your inner world with. But the problem comes when you won't settle for anyone less than what you have in mind. At the same time, the selectiveness that you have when forming relationships presents itself as a barrier for people who are interested and who genuinely want to know you better. Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you struggle to build deeper connections with others? Are you looking for ways to connect with people beyond the surface level? Today's video is sponsored by SoSynced, a place where we can match partners by personality types based on the 16 personalities model. You can access it by clicking the link in the description below. Two, you stress over small things. Are you someone who always needs things to be perfect? Wanting everything to be perfect can lead you to constantly stressing over the small things. As an INFJ, you develop deeper ideas than the usual person. And although this is an incredible skill to have, it can also make you read too much into things. If you're constantly stressing over insignificant things that you fail to look at the bigger picture, then it could be a reason why you might find yourself still single. Number three, you wait for others to make the first move. Do you feel bad for initiating conversation because you think you'd become a burden for them? This is a common thought that INFJs have. Whether it's for them to text you first or to take you on a date, as an introverted person, you usually wait for them to make the first move. While it may be that you're afraid to be bothersome for them, this habit of waiting for others to approach you can also result in a lot of missed opportunities. We talked about the importance of your potential partner being attentive and remembering the little things, which is why SoSynced could be the right app for you. They pair couples who have the right amount of similarities to get each other and just the right amount of differences to create that spark and go for deeper, meaningful dating. Upon taking the personality test, you discover your personality, such as INFJ, so thoughtful, or ENFP, so curious. Once you've mutually liked each other, you can start messaging. We wanted to say a massive congratulations to Hannah and Brendan who got married in December after meeting on SoSynced, the dating app that matches compatible personality types. Hannah is a psych to goer who discovered SoSynced through one of our videos. She downloaded the app, found Brendan, and deleted the app within a matter of hours. Hannah is an ENFP and Brendan is an INTJ. They would be a perfect personality match on SoSynced. Download the app for free today to meet that special someone on your wavelength. Make sure to check out the app in the description box below for more details. We encourage you to try it and give yourself a chance to find deeper love. Number four, you can be very stubborn. How strongly do you defend your values? One of your main personality traits as an INFJ is that you tend to stick very closely to your values, beliefs, and ideas. Because of this, you might give off the impression that you're not willing to change your opinion, even when proven wrong. This can be a very important factor for potential romantic partners, as they may be put off by your stubbornness. Number five, you see past fake acts. Have you ever gotten into a fight with someone because you found them faking something? Although people may tell you that you're just assuming things, as an INFJ, you do have the ability to see past the surface and notice things that other people don't. Unlike others, you are very observant and will look out for things like people's body language, voice tone, and facial expressions. And being able to see past fake acts can disqualify more people than you might think when considering who you want to form a romantic relationship with. Number six, you don't do casual. 
Do you commit to relationships very fast because you don't want it to be a waste of time? If yes, then this may be why you're still single. One of your personality traits is that you don't like wasting time and effort on things that are not going to work out. This is also why you're so selective about who you form relationships with. However, when looking at romantic relationships, this trait may scare people off, as most people usually prefer to start casually and not commit to too much too soon. And number seven, dating is a pain for you. Do you have a positive or a negative impression of the dating experience? Although a lot of people find dating as bothersome, INFJs can feel overwhelmed by it. As an INFJ, one of your inferior functions is extroverted sensing. This means that you don't like it when a lot of sensory information is being thrown your way. So putting yourself out there and meeting new people can become overwhelming and exhaustive. As a result, you might find yourself avoiding dates altogether, which may be why you're still single. Do you recognize any of these signs in yourself? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.